Today is uh, Thursday, November 11th at uh, 2021, about uh, 12.54 p.m., and uh, this discussion is about a recipe. Tell me about this recipe. Okay, it's a Milton family recipe. It's uh, my mother's side of the family, and uh, Ma, my great-grandmother, made it, and it's real simple, and none of us ever wrote it down because of the one thing so the one thing yeah it's one can one large can of pizzas large can large can of pizzas 29 ounce heated on top of the stove you just heat it you don't boil it okay i added nutmeg and um the um almond Almond, extract almond extract just a a, about a cap full of almond extract and a dash of nutmeg to mine that wasn't included in the original family okay um and then the batter um it's made from one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder. And one pinch of salt. Oh Yeah, one pinch of salt and one cup of milk. And you melt one stick of butter in your baking dish in the oven. And once it's melted, you pour the batter on top of that. You stir it in or just let it? You just pour it on there and then you pour the heated peaches on top. It's all just poured in. And you, make- you bake it uh, about an hour, like between 350 between 350 and 375 for now so when you put all the dry ingredients together do you mix this up first and then add the milk or just put all them the in? dry ingredients you have with the milk that's <clears> the <throat> batter that right you right and you pour it on top of the butter so the butter's pre-melted in your in your dish and, um, you pour it on top you don't mix it and you pour the peaches pour right on top, on top of that mm-hmm. and you it. shove it in the oven and in the and it all it comes to the top which is magical yeah. it is a delicious thing so you say your great-grandmother came up with this uh-huh. thing that's really great. Tell me about your great grandmother. Uh, Blanche White Milton. Um, she's part Cherokee. She was uh, married to uh, Edward Milton, and um, well, just a real sweet lady, a little farm lady. And uh, when she first came around, they had horse and buggies. <laughs> right. Yeah, and uh, I had a, a locket of hers for a while. <clears throat> Becky has it now. That she found on a train uh, when she was uh, a girl in the 1890s. Wow. And uh, Becky has the locket. That's nice. So, so this, is, lady. this is the Milton family peach cobbler. Uh-huh. She had four children, but only one survived, my grandfather, Clarence Milton. Her other children uh, succumbed early in life. Uh, the mortality rate was real bad then and uh, things like you know, the simple things like diarrhea and things like that. It took her children's lives. But dehydration's a real thing. Yeah, and uh, but Grandpa was the only one that survived of her four children. And uh, then she helped raise my mother because my mother's mother passed away when Mom was only six years old. Mm. She had uh, my mother, Uncle Charles, Uncle Jesse, and Uncle Bill. And then my grandfather, Ma's son remarried and uh, they had four more children and that's uh, the one we call Newt. It's Robert Earl and Marie and Joyce and uh, Mary Ruth. So there were eight children in total but a uh, mom um, took in the oldest four until her husband, my great grandfather, passed away and then they all moved into the same house together. Right. Well that's cool. And she did a lot of cooking. Uh, you are an amazing cook. I think it runs in the family. Got to run in the family. You tra- train, you training people, and, and <laughs> I, I, you figure things out. Uh, everything I've ever had by you has been excellent. It really is. Um, thank you for letting me record this. This is going to be the first time this has been written down after I transpose the. Yeah, yeah. But um, love you. Thank you so much. Love you too, and I'm uh, glad to share it with you. And you'll have to make it for. Sam and Barbara. And I will. All them out I'll there do this. I'll, I'll make them with it. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. But sometimes uh, we want recordings of our loved ones anyway. Yeah. 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 So, thank you so much. Oh, well, you're welcome. And the, inside that locket, there's a picture of uh, Daddy in there that Mama put in there when she was young because Ma gave the locket to Mother and then Mother makes, passed it to me and I passed it to Becky. So. That's great. Yeah. yeah. It's a little gold lock. It, it had a, a, a ribbon, but I put it on a chain later on. So and It has a bite mark on it because when I was in the fifth grade, I had seen uh, Treasure Island, 
and they were testing gold by biting it, so I was testing it and I bit it. <laughs> it's got a bite mark in it. A bite mark in it. Mm, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Thank you.